Well, it's the most important festival of the Chinese year, not only in China, but all over the world. And in Ireland now, it's a very big festival because we have up to 20,000 Chinese citizens. And last year, we raided all the major buildings in Dublin for the Chinese New Year. I know that uh, it's also a time of where families come together. So I think last year there were 375 million people flying around China to visit their home places, to visit their mothers, fathers and so on. And it is also a festival that is surrounded by a whole heap of rich rituals, including uh, red envelopes, including meals and uh, dumplings and so on. So it's a very, very important festival in China. It's one I, I, I'm particularly interested in pursuing. Well, I think the, the, the bit that appeals to me the most is the language, which is so nuanced and so ancient. I haven't unfortunately had time to finish any of the books I've started, but I've been trying, for instance, to read, read The Tale of the Red Mansions. And as I go forward, I keep meeting these lovely idioms like um, Shui Zhao, Qi Zhao, Shen Ti Hao, and so on, many of which, of course, we also have equivalents of in the Irish language and the English language. But the Chinese culture is very much reflected in its beautiful language. So that is, I suppose, the highlight for me. Also, the fact that every region has its own cuisine, its own customs. So everywhere you go, you get new tastes, new practices, which is a, a tremendous uh, education indeed. Well, 2018 was a really good year for Sino-Irish relations. We had um, the direct access of beef to the Irish market, the agreement to the second China-Irish fund between the ISAF, an, an Irish fund management con uh, sovereign fund, and CIC, the Chinese sovereign fund. We also had our first direct flights between Hong Kong and Beijing and Dublin. Uh, two direct flights in the one year, and this year is the 40th anniversary of our diplomatic relations. Uh, hopefully we will have even more development in our relations in the area of marketing, tourism. Uh, with the flights now, we have 90,000 Chinese people visiting the island of Ireland each year. We hope that increases to 175,000 over the next four or five years. Well, Junian Kwaila, Woshe Junian Ren, um, because I was born in 1959, so next, uh, next this year is my, my year. Every year of the pig has been a very good year for me. Um, the first year of the pig, I was 12 years old. I came out and went into a very good secondary school. Uh, the second year of the pig, I actually got married. And uh, the third year of the pig, I got a very big promotion. So I hope it will be a very prosperous year for all of you out there. I know the year of the pig is very much allied with the concept of happiness and prosperity and I'm sure 2019 will live up to that great tradition.